Hey, how's it going? Talking about the deck a day challenge right now and modifications that you can make if you are short on time. So, uh, the deck a day challenge is using a deck card app or a deck of cards or just using the numbers. And the way that it works is that the aces are 15, the kings are 13 reps, queens are 12, jacks are 11, and everything below that that's a number card is gonna be that number of reps. But what happens if you're short on time and you still wanna get a workout in, or if maybe doing 15 reps of a certain exercise is a little bit beyond where you're at right now? First of all, no shame in that, okay? So check your ego and be where you're at right now. Uh, one of the coolest things about doing this deck -a day challenge is that over the course of you know, four weeks of December, you will see yourself get stronger. So maybe you start off doing push-ups from your knees and can't do 10 reps in a row, and by the end, you'll see that you've gained a lot of strength. Um, and that just comes through the consistency of doing these workouts, stringing the days together. You know, none of the workouts are particularly long, but they add up over time. So, say you're in that position where some of the exercises are a little beyond where you're at right now, able, in terms of being able to do the reps with perfect form. First of all, have to remember perfect form is everything. So whether you're doing push-ups from your feet or from your knees, the form has to be good. If you start off on your feet, and need to go back to your knees halfway through, there's no shame in that. Do that because doing it with perfect form is going to be better than doing it with improper form but doing the right number of reps. I'd preference form over anything else. Um, if you're in that position, there are a couple of ways that you can scale this. So for uh, first thing that you could do is turn all of the face cards into 10 reps. So instead of doing 13 reps for kings, do 10 reps. Instead of doing 12 for queens, do 10 reps. Um, you could even do it for the aces. And that'll level it out a little bit. That'll take down those really long ones from 15 down to 10, and that might make it a, a little bit more palatable at this point. Uh, another thing that you could do is turn all of the cards, no matter what card it is, into seven reps or into five reps, so that you will always be doing five reps no matter what the exercise is. You know, you have to think that there's nine face cards, or I'm sorry, nine number cards, plus, uh, you know, one, two, three, four face cards. So that will still add up to a lot of reps if you even do five reps per, uh, per card. So that's another way that you could turn it back. Uh, you could just pick whatever number, you know, if you're short on time, you could do it that way uh, and still get a good workout in. And then another thing that you could do is just do as many cards as you can. You know, if you only have 15 minutes, 15 minutes is better than no minutes. And you can just flip, th flip through the cards and continue to do the exercises until your 15 minutes is up. Say you get through 31 cards. That's awesome. <laughs> you still did a workout. So that's a couple of ways that you can dial it back in addition to you know, dialing back the exercises. And what I mean by that is for something like say, um, say burpees, right? We will have burpees. <laughs> For something like burpees, instead of hopping your feet out, you can step your feet out. Um, for jumping jacks even, instead of doing a full jump, you can step your foot out and then step your foot out. Um, every exercise has a modification. You know, I don't really list them because that would just be a ton in the Facebook posts, but for any exercise that is out there, if you need a modification or want to scale back so that you can get the form right, just a quick YouTube search of whatever that exercise is and modifications will bring up a ton of options, or you could message me and I'd be happy to give you some. Um, okay, so those are a couple of ways to scale the workout uh, to be where you are at. And honestly, this is not a competition in terms of speed. So if you see people posting that it took them 14 minutes to do the workout, uh, maybe they were doing a scaled version and you don't know that. Um, maybe they were doing it with improper form. Uh, you don't know that either. So don't compare your times to anybody else's times. I often find that a lot of people beat me. Um, I just take pride in knowing that I did it with perfect form. And my workout is my workout, their workout is their workout. You don't know what they're up to that day. So uh, don't compare yourself to others. If you wanna make it harder, there are a couple of options for that too. Um, so you could do 15 for every face card if you wanted to up the reps. You could do a higher number, so you could do uh, 10 reps per card. Um, that might take a little bit longer time, but you're welcome to do that. 
What I would also suggest is that if you have excess, you could add weights to things. Um, for step back lunges, you could add weights. You know, even if you don't have weights in your house, you could grab a backpack. You could grab your dog. <laughs> you could hold a child. <laughs> you could, uh, you know, grab anything that you have in the house and use that as weights as well. Um, so adding weights is an option, scaling the numbers up is an option, and then modifying the moves. So if it's something like a squat, you could do a squat jump every third one, or step back lunges, you could do the jump lunges where you switch your feet like that. Um, those are a couple of options that you have to scale it up. And again, if you need uh, suggestions for that, you could, add, you could just do a quick um, YouTube search and be able to find all of that, or I'd be happy to give you some exercises. Another important thing with this is to scale as needed. So if you have an injury or tightness or you are super sore from yesterday's workout, which is actually very normal, especially in this first week, um, go ahead and change, you know, change the exercise to be something that's still targeting uh, that area of your body, but maybe just scaled a little bit. Um, and if you have an injury, you know, you can totally avoid that area. So say you can't do shoulder stuff, you know, instead of doing that, do another leg exercise. Um, the great thing about the deck -a day is that it's super flexible. I'm offering up suggestions, but obviously I'm not in your home with you. I can't see what you're doing. Uh, I can't correct your form. All of this is at your own risk and you are taking on this challenge, knowing that you are in good health, that you have doctor's approval to do this and that uh, you are capable of taking on this challenge. So scale it appropriately, be smart, and uh, have fun. That's the biggest thing. You know, this started on Thanksgiving Day, but it runs all the way through New Year's, and it actually runs year round. This is just the challenge to kick, off, kick everything off. So uh, we have four weeks left in December, actually a little over four weeks. Get your friends to join. It's totally free, there's nothing to lose, and there's no reason to wait until January 1st to get after your fitness goals. So come join an awesome community, work out with me, and uh, glad you're here. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them below.